once again, sorry for the hold up. Um, technical difficulties typically doesn't happen during spaces due to the influx of people that we've had tonight. So thank you for your patience. Um, we said we have seen a steady, you know, steady number, even though the technical difficulties did occur. So shout out to you guys for that. Um, once again, I'll re I will re reiterate this. Nothing we say is financial advice. We just provide educational as well as entertainment purposes only. And we will give a community uh, the, some time at the end to answer to quest five questions from five different people. Please, nothing with a price or price prediction. Let's keep it professional, guys. And once again, we thank you in advance for your patience. Dave, right back to you. All right, Queenie, if you can, can you introduce yourself to everybody in this room? Uh, obviously, there might be some people that aren't into sheep. So I'd love for you to go in and uh, just elaborate, uh, you know, who you are and what you uh, what your affiliation is with the project. Yeah, not a problem at all. So uh, I go by Queenie online and in this space. Um, I'm Australian, as I'm sure many of you have figured out. <laughs> um, I'm 23 uh, and I work in finance, um, which I'll keep it that vague because it's awfully specific otherwise. Um, my role in the Sheba Token project is I'm a moderator for the Discord. Um, and I sort of help out with a few other projects in the background. Um, but beyond that, yeah, just fighting FUD and educating our members and just keeping the Discord nice and tidy. So, Queenie, evidently you work with Shibu, you are part of the team. So could you kind of tell people that are that are in here that are quite new, we always have new listeners that come in that trip on through Twitter and find out there's a huge, you know, crypto Twitter section. Could you kind of enlighten us and really take it back, you know, what is Sheep and, and how do kind of Sheep start? Yeah, sure. So <clears throat> Sheep Inu started uh, as sort of the brainchild of uh, Ryoshi, as we all, as I'm sure many people are familiar with the name. Um, <laughs> there was a, a, me a medium published by Ryoshi and... Uh, the token, the three tokens were created, um, and essentially, it's a it's an experiment in community building in a decentralized space. It's what happens if I put some tokens with a roadmap and some thought out tokenomics out into the space, and just see what people do with it. What what could happen? And this is where we are now. It's pretty incredible, um, and. To think that we don't even have the, I think this is something people don't realize, but our current devs and our and our project lead Chaitoshi and you know everyone involved right now, they're not even the original team. Um, I think maybe one of our oldest is LC, the owner of the Discord. Um, and he's probably the only one who's worked you know closely with Ryoshi. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> it's. It's all just one big social experiment that has turned into a phenomenon and it's Shib is an enigma. I say this probably once a week. <laughs> That's awesome, Queenie. As I previously said, there are some, you know, a lot of new people in the space that tend to trickle in at any point in time throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, so Sheep is a, a deflationary token, correct? Yes, deflationary. We have a, a capped supply. Right. So he can give the people a quick synopsis of what uh, deflationary means and what a, def what a deflationary token is and how it works. Yeah, sure thing. So a deflationary token is a, essentially a token with capped supply. So there will never be more of the ship that we currently have. Um, and it's because of this deflationary aspect that you'll hear so many people jumping up and down for burns. Um, because obviously the idea is that the more limited the buy, well then, you know, with the demand, the price is going to increase. Uh, and so essentially a deflationary a token, it's because you're never adding that supply, theoretically, you're never having to factor in inflation for the price of the token. So Queen, what are, what are some of the better factors of having an inflationary token? Yep, so the deflationary token, sort of as I, as I just mentioned, it's it's about controlling price factors and not diluting the market so or diluting the supply. So obviously, uh, the lower your circulating supply is, then of course, um, as I said, you know, it's, it's all just demand and supply. So you want a deflationary token. If you constantly have more of it and more of it and more of it, people often see this as a downside because 
you're not there's no increasing rarity for what you have there's no you know uh, there's no chance of okay what if everybody in the world suddenly wants to buy shib if we had an infinite supply well then what you have isn't worth as much whereas if it's deflationary which it is if it's a capped supply well then there's only ever what we have right now which means if someone wants some and you've got some well they're going to pay you more for it because they can't get it any other way That was awesome, Queenie. Um, I'm sure people are excited too, and they oh, love and they. Uh, they I, gave the, the I gave the greatest speech just now again on on a muted mic. So, uh, like, yeah, I just wanted to ask you, Queenie, real quick before mm -hmm. you go, Forte. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, questions that I post to projects, uh, whether it's on Spaces or it's you know in in the Telegram groups or Discords. Mm -hmm. What is the utility of sheep? <laughs> yep. So the utility of SHIB, uh, we see it as two factors. Um, and part of this is actually Shaitoshi's response to this as well, which, as I've said, I've got him here answering as well. Um, the utility of SHIB, so yeah, it can be described in two ways. So it's the utility that we make of it. So of course, we've got uh, the staking and the liquidity providing and the farming of tokens with, uh, for SHIB on ShibaSwap, um, which also, you know, you can stake on centralized exchanges as well. Um, so you've got your passive income elements, you've got your payment facilitation. So you've, you know, we've, we've seen shopping.io, now payments, a uh, whole bunch of places around the world, including like restaurants, you've got the Shiba zone in, uh, I believe Venezuela. Um, all of these places that are accepting SHIB for, for retail purchases, which is fantastic to see. So that's one element of the utility is, yeah, you've got your passive income and your payment. Um, but as well. SHIB, and this again, this is this is Shaitoshi's words here, SHIB is a, <laughs> it's the proof of what you can do. It shows that even if you are what everyone calls a meme token, even if you've got a picture of a dog, if you start from nothing, and Ryoshi started with nothing, he borrowed the money for, or was lent the money for uh, the liquidity pool, we've never paid for marketing. It's all organic. <laughs> uh, even with all of these factors, you can still build something incredible. We are the 13th largest by market cap. That is insane. In just over a year, less even if you consider the fact that our hype was built from May, really. And so I think that SHIB, it, it's important. It's an important token to happen uh in this space because it just shows what you can do and you don't have to be some uh, i don't know hoity-toity altcoin <laughs> that takes everything seriously um it's just yeah the power of community and as shaitoshi's just got me to clarify which is correct passive income is not necessarily a utility of shib itself holding it in your wallet will not give you passive income but leveraging the ecosystem that it's part of so using it on shiba swap and in tandem with the other tokens that will give you passive income queenie you mentioned something that was really important before we get to a kill here you know my, my group and i talk about this quite a bit do you think um some of the success um even a small portion of shib is predicated to the fact that it is a meme coin. And hear me out when I say this. Some companies and businesses brand off animals like Geico. David refers to as, a, as an animal like sheep. They're both animals. You think some of the success comes from the branding of a meme token? Mm. Yeah, and I, I often pondered on this um, in the beginning because I know a lot, bunch of people are probably right now thinking, who the hell is this chick? Why have we got a random Discord mode? talking um part of that is i do spend a lot of my time um every day in the discord answering these kinds of questions um you know the why should i care about a meme token no one will take ship seriously it's a dog you know this is just a ripoff of doge all of those questions i've answered them a million times um and my answer has always been this so i think that it was a stroke of brilliance from ryoshi making it the Shiba Inu image because the timing of everything with Doge taking off and let's face it, like most people have heard of Bitcoin. I had heard of Bitcoin before I got into crypto. Everyone has heard of Doge. I've had 
<laughs> relatives who don't even use computers tell me that they've heard of Doge. What is this dog coin that people are becoming millionaires off of? And <laughs> as much as I am not a fan of the copycats and the similarly named tokens, I personally feel that using the Shiba Inu image and leveraging Doge's popularity was just marketing genius. It is what skyrocketed us. Everyone who was missed out on Doge and didn't want to FOMO in at, you know, 60 cents or 